It's important to understand that everyone in the world has addictions, or rather natural addictions, to things that are good, like food, water, and sleep. These natural addictions are important for our health and survival, and without them, we would not hunger or crave the things we need to survive. Now, we aren't exactly born with these natural addictions. Our body creates them. Let's look at an example. When you bite into an apple, your brain says, yum. Your brain recognizes that this apple is good for you. It has nutrition, vitamins, and gives your body the energy it needs to survive. Whenever the brain recognizes something that's good, it releases a chemical called dopamine. Dopamine causes you to experience pleasure. It's what makes you feel good, like when biting into an apple. The brain releases this dopamine in order to teach the body that this is healthy and good for your survival, and that it should remember to do it again. Now, there are other things we do that can release the pleasurable dopamine, like playing video games, exercising, or reading a good book. However, the amount of dopamine released during these activities is less than what's released when we eat food. The brain does this so it can recognize which is more important. So if you go two days without reading a book, or two days without eating food, your body is going to crave the food over the book. As such, your brain creates what's called a hierarchy of survival, which ranks how important each of these things is to your survival. Now, there are some things that will not cause the release of dopamine, like eating soap or punching yourself in the face. The brain knows that these things are not good and therefore does not release the pleasurable dopamine because your brain does not want you to do it again. Now, let's look at alcohol, marijuana, tobacco, and other drugs. These are all classified carcinogens, proven to cause cancer and other fatal diseases. Now, your brain should recognize that these things are harmful to your body. However, these substances have special chemical characteristics that fool the brain into releasing dopamine, oftentimes in much greater amounts than the body has ever experienced before. Because of this, the body is fooled into thinking that these things are good and important, sometimes even more important than food, water, or sleep, and consequently hijacks the number one spot in your survival hierarchy. So now, if you go two days without eating or two days without drinking alcohol, your body will actually crave the alcohol over the food. This is an extreme case of addiction, where the person addicted believes that they will die if they don't get it. The severity of the addiction depends on where the alcohol or drug lies within your hierarchy of survival, and can increase even with casual use. Research shows that people under the age of 21 are at the highest risk of having their survival hierarchy hijacked. Why? Because their brains are still growing and developing and are hypersensitive to false shocks of dopamine caused by these harmful substances. By 21, the brain is more fully developed and mature, and the survival hierarchy becomes more permanent and less susceptible to getting hijacked. The flip side is that once you are 21, it becomes very difficult to remove these harmful substances from your survival hierarchy. Studies show that 9 out of 10 people who currently struggle with addiction started drinking, smoking, or using before the age of 21. Understanding addiction as a preventable disease can help save millions of lives. The decision to wait until 21 could mean the difference between a life enslaved by addiction or a life full of success and accomplishment. Want to learn more? Visit us at wait21.org.